some of the veterans having conversations with head coach Dennis Allen in each other, the players this week. You know, what were those conversations about, and why was there a need for them? I mean, the stat came out. We haven't lost six games since 2005, so more conversations needed to be had, whatever it is. Um, it's a season of more, and I think I said that at the beginning of the season because I was like, yo, we're going to get more wins, and we started off 2-0, and and I was like, hell, way more wins. Uh, with nine opportunities left, we have to find a way, walk, crawl, claw, whatever it is, to find a solution. Um, I clearly don't know what that solution is, or else we wouldn't be sitting here 2-6. and six. Um, You know, whether that's up top, down low, uh, down low being the players, and anything in between, hell, the equipment guys, whatever, whatever it takes to get us into, back into the win column. Um, you know, I know Carolina's having their problems, but we're not. We've never been worried about anybody outside of our locker room. We got to focus on us and what that takes. So, anybody who takes the field has to have that mentality. How tough has it become, like week after week, seven and a half, stop six it. games losing streak, hey, and get a part of something like this? Man, how and tough is it to say positive? Hey, hey on on the uh, on the on a double spectrum of never been in, in a losing situation and never been a situation that I'm in this, this year currently. Had you told me previously what had been going on, I'm like, hell yeah, we've got nothing but talent uh, and possibilities. Um, you don't foresee injuries. You don't foresee given roles. You don't you know, foresee you ever losing this many games in a season, let alone in a row. Uh, so yeah, you have to focus. There's nothing, nothing to be happy about. At the same time, there's nothing but a possibility to bring positive energy into it. You got to speak life not only to the game. You got to bring it to practice each and every day. Kim, as you guys, you know, more and more time passes, there's fewer and fewer guys like you that kind of know what the same standard was that were touched at part of it. Like, how do you guys, how do you convey that to, to kind of the, the mass majority of the team? Though? Man, there was there was a time where. You know, you, you looked around the league and you'd say, you know, the Saints were favored for so long. Um, and now we're at a, at a point where you can't put, pinpoint, all right, this is how the Saints will win because we have to find a new formula. And that's what you've try, been trying to figure out. Clearly, you know, early success doesn't indicate the season success. And even right now at 2-6, and six, there's still nine possibilities. So there's still a lot of success to be had. You have to be able to find the solution and grasp it now. I don't think there's like, oh, the season's long. No, we're halfway through it for, all, for pretty much all purposes. Have you guys ever felt like close to finding that formula? No. The last yeah, I mean, you say no. uh, uh, over the last two, three I, years. I mean, like Absolutely. I mean, there's no point in any given day that I don't wake up knowing the Saints are going to win. Uh, I mean, that's the way I'm wired, and that's the way that I've, I've been wired and been built and, and had confidence and faith in. Um, f faith can always be shaken, but it doesn't disappear. So my faith is still the Saints are going to figure out a way to win somehow, somehow. And at the end of the se season, if that's not the case, then I'll address it then. But in my mind, we're going 11-6. and six. DA said that meeting with the captain was uh, really positive in terms of where the locker room's at. Kind of where, what's your sense of how everyone's handling this? I don't know. When he said, I haven't really tuned in. I was at the grocery store the other day, and somebody asked me about what DA said uh, to the media. I was like, I don't know. The, the, we the, talked about the dinner that, you, that he had with the captain. We had, we had a dinner where we talked about, you know, what's getting across, what's the mission statement, and the same is just we got to find a way to win. I mean, I could tell you everything that happened in the meeting, but that's not going to tell us how we're going to win Sunday. I could tell you, you know, everything that we happened in the game plan from Wednesday, Thursday, and will happen tomorrow. That won't tell you how to win. At the end of the day, this is a winning business, and we have to be able to, to have a good business to win. So is there anything that you identified in your guys' process that needs to change? I mean, you're always going to throw out, you know, like, hey, we, we can get more sacks on D-line. We can get more pressures. We can get – you could be more gap sound because, I mean, prior to this last game of them averaging like two and a half a clip from the running back spot, I think it was like six and a half, you know, three, four hundred yards on the ground, and that's embarrassing. So to have a game like Chargers and still not come out with the win, you go to the halftime with, with the score was what, five to nine? Yeah. Five to – Right. I was looking for my side, not their side. <laughs> but, yeah, so, you know, you look at it like that is a, that at halftime, the last four or five games, you've looked at them like, all right, we're in a position, striking distance or ahead of the game. We have to be able to take the lead or keep the lead. We haven't been able to do so. So it's not confidence in the first half, ultimate confidence. There needs to be confidence and strength in the second half. So whatever that is to finish out the last 30 minutes. Yeah, you know, I think when the team loses six games in a row, there's going to be fair questions of like, hey, is the buy-in still there? Is the, is the locker room still there? And I think that's when DA is talking about, hey, we had a meeting and we feel like things are going in the right direction. I think that's the question. Do you kind of get DA's that sense? DA's had a meeting with the captains. The captains have had a, 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 a talk just to, between ourselves. Uh, we've had talks with our position groups. 
talking is talking. Until we until we walk in, it's gonna be hard for people to be like, oh, they're bought in. I'm bought in. There's there's blood to be bled, and I'm always gonna believe black and gold. Do you guys have a team wide like players meeting? Not yet. It's probably happening soon. Though. I mean, I think that everybody understands exactly where we are. Um, and I feel like when people aren't bought in is when you have like a team meeting. I feel like this is something that you feel in the morning meetings, this is something you feel in the locker room, it's something you feel at practice, how everybody wants to win and talks about winning and still talks about winning. So there's not a dire need of like, oh, he's not bought in. It's a dire need of it's time to prove that we are a winning organization. And Cam, you know how much this city knows the Saints. How frustrating is that part of just knowing how the fans are? You know how much I'm in the city. No, 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 aunties and TTs coming now. They they coming for real business. I don't know what's wrong with us. If you have that answer, let me know. So tell me how tell me how we can win, and I'm I'm, I'm all in. Um, this city stands behind the Saints nine times out of ten, unless you check Twitter. <laughs> and then you know you you you'd assume that the fan base has left us. But everybody that I come in contact with, I was just at like, two different schools this uh, Tuesday. I was just at just at the grocery store getting fired up by the the, uh, the lady at the counter. Um, the, the city is is frustrated with our losing, and at the same time still behind us. And just like the players here, got to find a way to win.